Hey, welcome to A Course in Miracles. Today we are on Lesson 188. The peace of God is shining in me now. So let's get started. Why wait for heaven? Those who seek the light are merely covering their eyes. The light is in them now. Enlightenment is but a recognition, not a change at all. Light is not of the world, yet you who bear the light in you are alien here as well. The light came with you from your native home and stayed with you because it is your own. It is the only thing that you bring with you from him who is your source. It shines in you because it lights your home and it leads you back to where it came from and you are at home. This light cannot be lost. Why wait to find it in the future or believe it has been lost already or was never there? It can so easily be looked upon that arguments which prove it is not there become ridiculous. Who can deny the presence of what, of what he beholds in him? It is not difficult to look within, for there, for there all vision starts. There is no sight be it of dreams or from a truer source. That is not but the shadow of the scene, of the scene through inward vision. That is not, that is not but the shadow of the scene through inward vision. Their perception, their perception starts and there it ends. Their perception starts and there it ends. It has no source but this. The peace of God is shining in you now and from your heart extends around the world. It pauses to caress each living thing and leaves a blessing with, with it that remains forever and ever. What it gives must be eternal. It removes all thoughts of the ephemeral and the valueless. It brings renewal to all tired hearts and lights all vision as it passes by. All of its gifts are given everyone, and everyone unites in giving thanks to you who give, and you who have received. The shining in your mind reminds the world of what it has forgotten, and the world restores the memory to you as well. From your salvation radiates with, from your salvation radiates with the gifts beyond all measure given and returned. To you, the giver of the gift, does God himself give thanks. And in his blessing, does the light in you shine brighter, adding to the gifts you have to offer the world. The peace of God can never be contained. Who recognizes, who recognizes it, in, who re, who recognizes it within himself must give it. And the means for giving it are in his understanding. He forgives because he recognized the truth in him. The peace of God is shining in you now and in all living things. In quietness it is acknowledged universally. For what your inward vision looks upon is your perception of the universe. Sit quietly and close your eyes. The light within you is sufficient. It alone has the power to give the gift of sight to you. Exclude the outer world and let your thoughts fly to the peace within. They know the way. For honest thoughts, untainted by the dream of worldly things outside yourself, become the holy messengers of God himself. These thoughts you think with him, they recognize their home, and they point surely to their source. For God the Father and the Son are one, God's peace is shining on them. But they must remain with you as well, for they were born within your mind, and yours was born in God's. They lead you back to peace from where they came, but to remind you how you must return. They heed your Father's voice when you refuse to listen. 
They heed your father's voice when you refuse to listen, and they urge you to gently accept his word for what you are instead of fantasies and shadows. They remind you that you are the co-creator of all things that live. For as the peace of God is shining in you, it must shine on them. We practice, we practice coming near to the light in us today. We take our wandering thoughts and gently bring them back to where they fall in line with all the thoughts we share with God. We will not let them stray. We let the light within our minds direct them to come home. We have, we have betrayed them, ordering that they depart from us. But we, but now we call them back and wash them clean of strange desires or disordered wishes. We restore them to the holiness of their inheritance. Thus are the minds restored with them, and we acknowledge that the peace of God still shines in us, and from, and from us to all living things that share our life, we forgive them all, absolving uh, and uh, here. Uh, thus are the minds restored with them, and we acknowledge that the peace of God still shines in us, and from us to all living things that share our life. We will forgive them all, absolving all the world from what we thought it did to us. For it is we who make the world, and we, for it is, for it is we who make the world as we would have it. Now we choose that it be innocent, devoid of sin, and open to salvation. And we lay our saving blessing on it, as we say, the peace of God is shining in me now. Let all things shine upon me in that peace, and let me bless them with the light in me. Amen. And that is Lesson 188, The Peace of God is shining in me now. Structs for this lesson. Enlightenment is but a recognition, not a change at all. Light is, light is not of the world, yet you who bear the light in you are alien here as well. And I find that you know, the, more, the more I move forward, some there, there are those that I recognize that are in this work and that get it, but there's a lot more that don't. And so in some ways, I do feel a little bit alien. And uh, it goes on to say, it shines in you because it lights your home and leads you back to where it came from, to where it came from and you are at home. And really just peace is wherever I am. I can't go to peace. And I understand that now. I mean, I think that reflecting upon before I was in the work here and before I went through Save a Warrior, I, I feel like I, I, I sought out peace, but peace was always right here. And thanks to this work, I now recognize that. Moving a couple paragraphs down, uh, that starts, the peace of God is shining in you now. Um, middle of the paragraph, what it gives must be eternal. It removes all thoughts of the ephemeral and valueless. And when the light is within me, it, it, I, I'm starting to recognize what is, what is valueless, what, what doesn't what matters and what doesn't, and what's important and what's not. Next paragraph, the shining in your mind reminds the world of what it has forgotten, and the world restores the memory to you as well. And again, I know that I have to, if I want salvation, I need to give this wisdom away. Um, in order to keep it. Next paragraph, uh, the peace of God can never be contained. Who recognizes it within himself must give it. Again, 
got to give it away to keep it. Um, the next paragraph, the light within you is sufficient. And that's all that I need. And I have to keep reminding myself of that. That's something that I'm going to write down today. The light within me is sufficient. Next paragraph, they lead you back to peace. Or, uh, uh, really, it, it, this next paragraph that starts these thoughts you think with him, they recognize their home and they point surely to their source. They lead you back to peace from where they came, but to remind you of how you must return. Um, I'm just trying to see where they recognize their home. These thoughts, you think with him, they recognize their home. And it's these thoughts that heed you, your father's voice when you refuse to listen. And well, yeah, there's definitely moments I'm still a human being. I'm still, I'm still capable of, of many mistakes. And it's just taking a moment to pause and be open. Because, I, I mean, let's face it, when I'm angry, I'm not open. Um, I'm just angry. And so as long as I can take a pause or, or maybe even have someone remind me, that I am the light. Um, but oftentimes it's more of me self-reflecting and now having the tools to recognize that, hey, I am human, I have emotions, I have reactions. Those reactions aren't always uh, the best way, but you know, we have a saying in Save a Warrior, catch yourself catching yourself. And that that is... That, again, it's a tool. I see that I am, you know, I, I see that I'm kind of running the rails. I'm, I'm and, and uh, it's another saw saying, you know, kind of where I'm just kind of in this triangle of, uh, of shame and then hiding that shame and uh, being angry and, and, uh, and, and you just kind of keep that circle or that triangle going. You just keep running these rails. And it's sometimes just takes a, a, a brother or a sister to just tell me, hey, you're the light. Okay, you don't you don't have to react this way. You don't have to be this way. Um and uh and then moving on to the last paragraph. Uh, we will forgive them all, absolving all the world for what we thought it did to us. And that's a, that's a tough one for me, and I'm working on it. And it's getting easier. But again, it's, it's recognizing. It's recognizing that this world, and, and actually the next the next sentence it says for it is we who make up the world as we would have it and i had made up the world one way that did not work for me now i'm re framing that world and it's a much better place so i'd love to hear your structs your thoughts on lesson 188 again i cannot thank you enough for keeping me accountable to this work and uh well i will see you tomorrow